Hey, Tab family. Listen, the month of June is going by quickly, but we hope you've enjoyed everything that we shared with you and had a chance to be a part of Children and Youth Month and all the activities that unfolded. As you know, we are featuring youth literacy and making sure that we remind you of that summer reading list, right? So today we have with us yet another local author, Miss Javon Jones. She's also a musician and an educator. She's gonna share information about her book that she's written for you specifically, and also give us some insight, encouragement, and inspiration when it comes to reading. Please keep your eyes on the screen. Youth literacy, not just youth literacy, but literacy in general, is that gateway for opportunities. So like if you think about slavery times, and how they didn't want slaves to know how to read and write. They didn't want them to read and write because they knew that if they knew how to read and write, they wouldn't be in bondage anymore. So when you have those um, those key components to how to live in society, like that will help you thrive. As an adult, like I actually have a reading endorsement. So to go through the program and it's like, hey, you know, you can actually read books that you like on topics that you want to know about and it'll kind of invigorate you to want to read books. So as an adult, I'm like, I enjoy reading because now I can read what I want, not what somebody else wants me to read. So like, I like to empower other people. So I read books about empowerment or, or self-help books so that I can help other people. Well, my book is called You Are Enough. Um, I'll say, Throughout life, you know, a lot of rejection and things like that, it makes you start questioning your enoughness. I made that word up, but I like it. And <laughs> and so um, I battled with it and I had to get through, you know, that process of like, am I enough? Am I doing enough? Because I've been rejected from so many things. And so once I got to my deliverance from it, I felt like, you know, there's other adults that are adults that are questioning their enoughness. So I said, I'm going to try to do a self-help book. So I'm in the process of writing a book for adults and God speaks and said, write it for children. And he literally, I'm laying in bed and he's giving me the words. I wrote this whole book in my bed, just sitting there. The words just kept flowing. The storyline just flew. It just happened. I came to realize that children really need to understand their enough then versus becoming an adult that's questioning it. So if we start kind of grooming our kids into knowing like, hey, you are enough, you are wonderful, you are beautiful, like all of those things like that, when they become adults, they don't have to wonder, am I beautiful, am I enough, and all those things like that. If there's a person that wants to write, I mean, write, write from the heart. Like for me, I kind of told a testimony through a children's book, you know, it, there's no limit to your writing. It's your words, your creativity can be whatever. For me, I got someone to help me with the process because I'd never written a book before. So what is the process of it? So there's people that will hold your hand through it. If you're interested in writing, I mean, start nurturing that as a kid. You know, um, I like that they do creative writing in school because that lets kids kind of use their imagination and just write from their heart and from themselves and put themselves into. Javon, thank you so much for sharing your heart and this amazing book. Here it is, guys. If you want to see what that looks like, please make sure you get a copy if you have a child or a young adult even. Listen, to all of our students and graduates, we are so very proud of you. We know that the last two years have not been easy, but you have persevered. You've accomplished great things academically, and to our graduates, well, you've got your cap and gown. We are so excited to see what God's gonna continue to do in each one of your lives. And of course, Tab family, roll with us next month. We've got more in store this summer for you. As always, thank you so much for worshiping with us here at Tabernacle Baptist Church, a local church making a global impact.